ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஸ்கந்தகுப்தா ஸ்கந்தகுப்தா ஹூ ரேங்க் ஃப்ரம் அப்ராக்சிமேட்லி ஃபோர் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் டு ஃபோர் சிக்ஸ்டி செவன் சிஇ வாஸ் அ குப்தா எம்பரர் ஆஃப் நார்தன் இந்தியா ஹி இஸ் ஜென்ரலி கன்சிடர்ட் த லாஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த குப்தா எம்பரர்ஸ் ஸ்கந்தகுப்தா வாஸ் த சன் ஆஃப் த குப்தா எம்பரர் குமார குப்தா ஒன் ஹிஸ் மதர் மே ஹாவ் பீன் அ ஜூனியர் குயின் ஆர் அ கான்குபைன் ஆஃப் குமார குப்தா This theory is based on the fact that Skandagupta's inscriptions mention the name of his father but not of his mother. Some scholars believe that Devaki was his mother's name based on the inscription Ascension to the Throne. Skandagupta ascended to the throne in the year 136 of the Gupta era. According to the Bitari pillar inscription he restored his family's fallen fortunes he prepared for this according to the inscription by sleeping on the ground for a night and then defeating his enemies who had grown wealthy and powerful after defeating his opponents he went to see his widowed mother who was crying tears of joy reign and achievements During his reign, Skandagupta demonstrated his ability to rule by defeating Pushyamitras during his early years in power, earning the title of Vikramaditya. His Bithari pillar inscription suggests that he restored the Gupta power by defeating his enemies, who may have been rebels or foreign invaders. He repulsed an invasion by the Indo- Heptalites, also known as Hunas in India, probably the Kidarites. He seems to have maintained control of his inherited territory. Skandagupta is widely regarded as the final of the great Gupta emperors. The Gupta genealogy after him is unclear, but he was most likely succeeded by Uru Gupta, his younger half-brother. His reign marked a significant period in the history of India, demonstrating resilience and strategic prowess in maintaining the Gupta Empire's power and influence. Thank you. Bye.